Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Cracker Barrel copycat hash brown casserole. This is an easy side dish to put together. You can even make it ahead of time if you want. It is really delicious. Y'all ready? It's right here. I'm going to bring you up here, show you what you're going to need, which is not much. But let me tell you, this side dish packs a punch for your office party, for your church gatherings, potlucks, if you want to just make it for home and have it as a side dish for your favorite meal. Come on up so we can get this one started. You're going to need some shredded hash browns. We've got seasonings of salt, pepper, garlic powder. Now I've got some minced onion, or you can dice your own onion, or you can put onion powder in it, or just leave the onion out if you want. We've got butter, cheese, got a can of cream of soup. Now this is great because you can use any flavor soup you want. If you want cream of chicken, cream of celery, which I'm doing here because this is perfect for the holidays. And you can also do like a cheddar cheese soup if you want to do that instead of the cream of soups. And then we've got some sour cream going in to kind of smooth it all out. We're going to take the hash browns. You want to make sure that you thaw these out. They do come in your freezer section of your store. And this is one pound and four ounces, so about 20 ounces of hash browns. If you want to double up this recipe, there's a package of hash browns that are like 36 ounces, and that's totally fine to double up. So what we're going to do, I've already thawed these out, so we want to drain them. Now if you use hash browns and you leave them frozen, they're going to get really watery on you, and you don't want that. So take a bowl, I'm going to lay some paper towels in the inside. I'm going to pour the hash browns, my thawed hash browns, into the bowl. I'm just going to pat them down. I'm going to get any excess moisture out of the potatoes. All right, I'm going to just shake them into my bowl. Like that. We're going to add some flavor. We're going to start off with one stick or a half a cup of melted butter. Just go ahead and add those to the potatoes. We're going to add some salt and pepper, quarter teaspoon of each. I'm a sucker for copycat recipes. I love them. They can be very versatile, so you can add what you want to them. I have a copycat meatloaf recipe from Cracker Barrel. You should give that one a try. It's really delicious. All right, I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we're going to shake in some minced onion and this is what I was talking about where if you want to just dice your own onion I would dice them very small though because this won't cook very long and so you want a chance for the onion to just kind of cook through or you can put onion powder in just a couple of teaspoons give it some flavor that's it right there I've got a can of cream of celery soup Oh, this will smell like the holidays. You can use cream of chicken soup if you like that, or you can even just take out the cream of soups and add like a cheddar cheese soup if you want to do that. Anything that's creamy, it'll help bind it together. All right, now what we're going to do to smooth out that cream of soup is I'm going to add half a cup of sour cream. That should be good. What we're going to do now is grate two cups of cheese, or you can use the already shredded cheese. Tastes good when you grate it yourself. I'm 
I'm using a cheddar cheese. All right, what's your favorite side dish at Cracker Barrel if you've ever eaten there? All right, we're going to place half of our cheese into the bowl with the potatoes. We're going to mix this all together until it's well combined. Y'all let me know down in the comments what else works well for a hash brown casserole. It smells delicious in there. I'm telling you, pair this with that meatloaf from Cracker Barrel. I got the recipe down below if you want to check it out. Or you can even go to Catherine'sPlates.com and search for the recipe there, Cracker Barrel Meatloaf. Yeah, it's really good. One of my husband's favorites. For this batch, I'm going to be using an 11 by 7 baking pan. It's about one and a half inches deep. I'm going to spread the mixture evenly throughout. First off, let's spray the baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. There we go. Now we're going to place it into the pan. Now if you're going to double this batch, then I would use a uh, 9 by 13. You can reheat this, make it ahead of time. All right, we're going to spread it out evenly. And then you know it. We're going to top it with the rest of that shredded cheese. Now, if you're wondering what you can eat this with, just think of Cracker Barrel with their fried chicken, their pot roast. Yeah, I love their pot roast. All right, I'm going to sprinkle the rest of the cheese on top. Now, if you want to use different cheeses, you can do that also. I've got my oven preheating at 350 degrees. Now, I've covered my pan with foil, spraying the inside of the foil before I placed it on here. That way, it'll keep the cheese from sticking to our foil. We're going to bake this for about 35 minutes. Then we're going to take the foil off, raise the heat to our oven to about 400 degrees, Place this back in the oven uncovered for five to ten minutes until that cheese is kind of lightly golden brown on top. I'll be back. Okay, I've just pulled this out of the oven. Look at that. Looks delicious. I'm going to add a little bit of some chives on top just for some color. A little pop. There we go. I'm going to grab a spoon, put some on a bowl, give it a try for you. Now you want to let it sit for about five or ten minutes, kind of pull itself together. Oh, look at that creaminess. All right, I'm going to grab a fork. I'm going to give this a try. Here's my bite. Mm. Ooh, if you can do that in cream of celery, mm, tastes like the holidays for sure. Or whatever cream of soup you want. That's creamy. I still get the texture of the potato in there. Ooh, and the seasonings. That's a delicious side dish. You can even make this for breakfast. Put some eggs on the side with some bacon or sausage. Yeah, that would be really good. All right. Here it is right here. This was a single batch. You can double this up to a 9 by 13 if you want to do that also. All right, y'all. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.